Hi hey there guys, this is Salt. And I will be bringing you another tutorial. This tutorial is on the control remapper tool by CVD and CR. First thing you want to do is head to the UCR GitHub page. The link is right here, it will also be in the description. And then you'll want to click the release. You do not want to click the clone download button as this gives the source code and you can't really do much with that unless you're a programmer. You're going to want to click on the releases tab and you're going to want to download the latest release. The latest release is 9.0 alpha. In that case let's go ahead and download that. We already ha I have it downloaded. And we don't just want that. Uh, so this tutorial will be on mapping all one of our keyboard inputs, let's say the our number two on our numpad to a, a Xbox controller device using by Gym Library. So we're going to need UCR. Next thing we need is the by Gym uh, bus installer that allows us to play an Xbox 360 device. So we're going to go ahead and grab the latest setup. And then we need one more thing. Over to the UCR wiki, which is the button right here. You can see a lot of core divider providers. The ones we will be using today are Interception, which allows you to grab uh, inputs from your keyboard and mouse, and by Jim. We've already downloaded the by Jim provider right here. Now we need interception. So if you, let's go do a brief overview of the tutorial right here. Using the interception driver, you need admin rights. You need basic knowledge of how to use the command line. I will step you through the steps here, and you do have to reboot. So let's go ahead and download the latest interception from this page right here. So we're just going to go ahead and download that. So let's go ahead and install interception first. You can do it in any particular order. Uh, you can't do UCR has to be last, however. Uh, but UCR doesn't really require a download or an install. Sorry about that. So let's go ahead and extract interception. I use the 7-zip utility, but the Windows one is just fine. So here I have interception. So let's look at this tutorial. Download and unzip it, which is what I did. In the command prompt, navigate to the folder you created in step 2. This folder. Then to the command line folder. Installer folder. Then, then type install interception.exe slash install and then press enter. So I am on the latest uh, Windows update which is Windows uh, 10 2004. So I'm going to right click this Windows button down here. Click on Windows PowerShell Admin. And then yes. When, uh, when it asks you to uh, for permission to use the admin privileges. Now we can click on command line installer right here. Right click on on the uh, the navigation up here and then press copy address as text. Now we can click over here and then the buttons the um, words we're gonna want to type is C D quotation and then we're going to right click on our maps, which will paste down the address, and then ending quotation. So now we are in this directory, so now we can run this command right here, the install interception. So we're going to want to type dot slash. You have to put dot slash because we're using PowerShell. Uh, in command prompt, you don't have to do this. Install dash interception dot exe slash install. And it has successfully been installed. So now we have to reboot our computer. So I'll see you guys when Ooh. Hi, now I'm back. So now that we have interception installed, we're going to want to install 
are by Gymbus provider. So using the controller that we downloaded previously, we're going to go ahead and open it. It's going to ask us, sorry, uh, we're going to want to open it. And press next and install. And then it's going to ask us for admin privileges. Go ahead and press yes. That black screen was. And then click the finish button. So it's all done. So now we have interception and by Bus installed. So then our next step is UCR. Um, before I continue on to the next step, if there's any issues installing interception and by Bus, I recommend you uninstall by Bus, which you can do that through if you open up settings and then go to apps and you just find by Bus driver, you can just uninstall it that way. And interception, you can just do the same thing, but instead of doing slash install, you can do slash uninstall. And then restart the tutorial from the very beginning, skipping nothing. Not skip anything. Do not press the install step. Interception doesn't install. If you don't finish installing by gym bus, by gym bus will not work. I just want to clarify that. And things don't work on external drives. So if you try to install interception onto it, it be angry with me. So now let's continue. With UCR, go ahead and extract that. Again, using your extraction tool of choice. Um, unless you're using WinRAR, then um, you can go into the abyss and die. Uh, just my two cents. So now that we've extracted it, we can go ahead and run the unblocker utility, which will unblock all the files. So we can go ahead and open that on QCR. Second launch. And there it is, that BCR. So here's the part where we create a profile. So let's go ahead and add a profile. Let's name this num to to joy down. So our input device is going to be, in my case, it's my keyboard. So either of these really works. So let's go with this one, and then we're going to want an Xbox controller device. So please note when it says controller one, controller two, controller three, that's not how it appears in to a game. So if you say controller two, it doesn't appear as player two. It just it just appears as player one. It's the order that they're created. So if you have two profiles, one that does to an Xbox controller each. Uh, if you have two profiles that go to controller one, they'll feed it into the same controller. But if you do it, one profile that goes to controller one and controller two, depending on which profile was activated first, that's going to be the uh, controller, the player one and player two. I hope that was clear enough. So let's go ahead and create. So then now we need to do an access. So in our case, ours is a button to access right here. Keyboard is a button input and the axis is the joystick on a controller. Go ahead and plus. So let's call this num2 to joy down. So our, let's go ahead and bind our two key, keys num2. And our output is going to be axes left stick x, left stick y. So left stick y would be left going up and down. So the axis on release, axis when pressed. So let's go ahead and this and run the profile. Let's go ahead and oops. So you can go ahead and right click on the Windows uh, icon right here and press run and then type in joy.cpl. So you can see that the controller has popped up and if we press properties, we can see our device. So let's go ahead and press the two key. Hey, look, it works. I I press the two key, it moves up. So that's successful. Nice. Um, so I hope you liked this tutorial. This was a tutorial on basic mapping. Uh, note that if you're trying to emulate a mouse input, you need to use a custom Delta Access plugin, which you can find in the UCR wiki. Uh, 
a tutorial on that maybe soon, depends on really what I feel like. Make videos scattered. Um, so otherwise, have a beautiful day and.